Hello, uh, let's discuss another problem on binary search tree, which is very easy to solve and uh, change you the fundamentals of binary search tree problem solving approaches. So the problem is given a binary search tree, mirror the tree, mirror it. So for example, if this is my tree, let's say right, my output should be 10 will be there itself. My left hand child will become my right hand child. That means 6 will become here and 15 will become here. So right hand child becomes left hand child. Similarly, 15's right hand child will become left hand child and 15's left hand child will become 15's right hand child. Similarly at 6. right? So this is the mirror. This is mirror of the given tree. This is my given BST. So what we need to write a function to do this. Very first thing you should keep in mind whenever you come across any binary search tree problem that try to figure out how recursion can work into things. Here what we are doing like first we are mirroring the root 10. The left hand side of 10 and right hand side of 10. We are swapping these two. What we are doing next we are doing the same thing with the left hand side of 6 and left hand side, uh, right hand side of 6. Again, we will be doing if there is some element here, let's say 1, right? We will be doing the same thing onto the left hand side of 3 and right hand side of 3 that will be done. So, what we are what we are doing at root, we are doing it for the left hand sub tree and right hand sub tree. So, that is the best case for recursion that is divide and conquer. Whatever we are doing for the root, do it for left, do it for right. We will have a standard template I said when we are looking at the delete binary search tree problem that we will step 1 will be process the node and repeat the process for left side and repeat the process for right side. What kind of all, uh, traverser is it? So you are processing the root left and right post order traversal right so we'll do the same thing so let's see the code here we'll write a function void mirror and we'll pass node star root that is the only thing we can pass onto the binary search tree if root is null that is the standard return thing right what else now we'll process node and we'll pass the root as parameter that is first step this is first step in post order traversal. It can be a print statement. It can be swapping what we will do now. right? It can be anything. But we will process the node. And then what we will do like we will mirror the left roots left. And then we will again mirror roots right. So that is the standard typical implementation of post order. Now let us process uh, implement process node wide process node in this case what we need to do is like nodes are root root is null return nothing needs to be done okay what we need to do is like we need to swap left end pointer to the right end pointer so we'll create another temp pointer temp equals to roots left right now roots left will become roots right and roots right will become temp and return that's all so this is what we need to do to in order to mirror a tree so th this is a typical example of any how a traversal of a binary search tree can be used to solve other problems. In this case, we saw use post order traversal for mirroring a tree. Uh, we can work on another problem that is replacing a node with the, the sum of its children, right? That again uses post order traversal because we would, we would be traversing left and right child first to sum them and uh, replace the node with the sum. Till then, thank you very much. Bye-bye.